Greetings. This is the Ghetto Free Press, and I'm George Boston Rhymes, and I'm in Dawson, Georgia. Uh, as I've been walking the streets here uh, with the mayor, Mayor Wright, and what's your name, my brother? My name is Wallace Johnson, America, and I'm Mayor Wright's uncle. Okay, and tell me what do you think about what happened to the beloved mayor? I see that he is well liked in this community. Uh, he told me he been shot six times. But tell me something about, in your own opinion, what do you think of, about what happened to him as mayor of the city? To, to, to see um, not only my nephew, my family, my blood, but to see a city figure get targeted on such a, a heinous, heinous, I don't know what you say, incident, especially a Halloween night incident where people get their mask up and run around as if like a child playing it. It's really, it really makes me sick that we as, excuse me, but the majority of black community here and black leaders and black stuff for anything to go down like that, you know, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous and it's also scary. It, it doesn't make sense. Plus how long it's taking, no answers. Nitpicking, letters, flyers, all kinds of stuff to make his name bad, try to dirty him. Um, speculation about him, all this stuff in the event that someone tried to murder him, assassinate him, and it didn't come true. And it took my family through a whole lot of oaks and a whole lot of down. My wife, she going crazy, door lock, um, new locks on doors, talk about purchase of, 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 of weapons for her and, and, and take our home. And, our family, but it, it was devastating. Plus the, the time he was in ICU on breathing machines when no one could see him and everybody crying and you know, for a community to love the, a new mayor, you know, so much, you know, not saying that they hate the old mayor so much, but the vote speaks for themselves, you know what I'm saying? Which the old mayor used to be a, a good friend of our family, one of my dad's best friends and you know, I. I, I, I'm not pointing the finger at anything, but you know, it, it's kind of strange. It, 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 it's kind of strange and it kind of makes me sick in my stomach that nothing has been done about it or no one knows anything. And, and, and no, you know, and, um, it, what, what do you think about law enforcement? What kind of, what that, do they keep, do, does the city police or the kind of keep you up on uh, the status of the investigation or anything like that? I can't lie now, um, during the investigation, the police, um, they were on hand as far as they could go. You know, the police is only for um, within the city limits, so you know, therefore security for him at the hospital, you know, but that, that would have to be done through other agencies because this is Dawson and we don't have a hospital, so we had to go to the next two counties over to get there. And um, so the, the protection was provided for him by volunteer officers from his um, department and they, and they also offered to guard his home once he got home and we greatly appreciate them for that and, um, and he's getting back to health and stuff but it just, you never know sometimes where the threat came from, whether it be from city officials or, or whoever, you know, we, we, no one has got to the bottom of it. What, what, what about the GBI or the federal government? Are they involved or civil rights organizations the like civil, Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson? They got, anybody? I, I had heard wind of them getting contact with um with Al, but I, I, I haven't seen Al. I wish I could shake Al's hand and Al come here and talk about this, because, you know, Al is a good, Al, Al good for this, yes, you know, yes, Al is good for this, yes, so, um, but, um, we haven't we haven't seen him and um I just um we we need some help. Well we what, need to get what, to the bottom. Well, of it. well I'm gonna try to get this out as much as I can. You know, we have the same problem in Meg's, Georgia. Uh, Linda Harris was stripped of her power as the mayor over there. You familiar with that? I wasn't familiar. Well I'm, I'm gonna hope to educate you a little bit on that before we leave. Uh, I understand that uh, there are others, I'm going over to some more uh black mayors that were elected going through the same thing, not being shot, but they, are, they, they have been stripped of their powers and now they're shifting from the, the mayoral type government to the city manager, which means that the mayors used to have the power, but now they're shifting to the city mayor where blacks are coming in positions of power. Uh, how, I mean, it's more blacks in the city here than it is white, am I correct? Yes, you are correct with the um, black superintendent, black mayor, black police chief. Um, a whole lot of whole lot of black authority figures in our mostly black community, and um, 
but still, no, no questions, no answers to, to, to this thing. It's like, like someone has a big rug, you know. Have you heard anything from the Congressional Black Caucus or any of the? Yes, yes, they've yeah. been in touch. They've been in touch, and they, they, they were here uh, promoting and, and trying to get to the bottom of this, and and, and they um. And I introduced them to some more black males that I knew. That's that, that. So, so they um, they've been doing their part. But as far as the investigation goes, I'm not pointing any fingers. But right, right as of now, it has gone nowhere. Plus the fact that it, it, if the mayor was assassinated or he was murdered, I I, I asked them a question like, who who would succeed him? Who right. who succeeds the mayor when he dies? Mm -hmm. um, that that's a good question. You know, yes, like. But, but we'll get into that later. But, but the bottom line is that, uh, so uh, we one thing we do know, I, I spoke with a, a pastor who was a witness, or, or, or he went to him and saw him laying on the ground. I've already interviewed him. And brother, I want, what's your name once again? I'm Wallace Johnson. Well, Wallace Johnson, I want to commend, commend you because everywhere I go, whether it's Jacksonville, Bentonville, Arkansas, uh, Thomasville, uh, Cairo, wherever I go, it seemed to be the black women, who, and, black, and white right women who are standing up and speaking. But black men seem like they scared as hell, or scared as hell and what? Uh, the black pastors don't even stand up like they used to. The black pastors used, and bishop used to be the keystone of the black community. But it seems that we have lost them for whatever reason. So I want to commend you for standing up, my brother. Any closing remarks you want to give in terms of how you point, yes. uh, point towards our uh, brother, the mayor here? The mayor here. I, I, I love our mayor, which is my nephew. And um, I want to make a statement that if, um, to the other mayor, not just black mayors, but to all mayors, not only Georgia, but in, in the whole United States, if, if, if you see a mayor targeted and you see something like that happen, we could really use your funds and use your help to get him to get get us what we need to find the information we need. If we could start a reward program, uh, you know the money is slight because of our um, our population here. We're a very small community, so we don't have the sufficient funds for everything. But if, if, if something happened to you, we were glad to be. I know he was glad to show up on your doorstep or be at your hospital bed to be there for you. So I'm challenging all males from everywhere to stick their nose in our business. Thank you very much. Brother Wallace, thank you so much. Once again, this is George Boss Ryan, the Ghetto Free Press. I do what I do because it must be done. I served this nation for 21 years in the United States Armed Force. I took an oath and obligation to protect this nation against foreign domestic enemies. And anybody that come up against American people, then guess what? I took that oath. And I, if I could fight and die for those, be willing to die for those people in foreign nations, then don't you think I should be willing to put my life on the line here in the homeland of the United States of America? Amen. As they say, the home of the, the home of the, the land of the free and the home of the brave, and in some cases, too many graves. But thank God the mayor is still with us, and we're going to be here until time be no more. Bye-bye. We're gone.